Hi, my name is James Lawrence. I'm with Trap Hagen Financial Group. I'm a partner and I'm approaching uh, my 22nd tax season. Uh, I do mostly business tax returns and individual tax returns. And what I'm going to talk about today is not, not the business tax returns, but the individuals that we meet during tax season. And generally, I put them into three categories. Uh, we have the people that like their refunds. We call them the refunders. Uh, they know they're getting a refund. We have the uh, procrastinators, uh, the clients that don't want to pay anything before they have to, uh, to the Internal Revenue Service. And then we have the what I call the apathetics, the people that generally really don't have an idea whether they're getting a refund or they have a balance due. And, um, you know, they just generally, you know, at the, at the end of the meeting, they, they're okay with either way, whether they get a refund or uh, actually have to pay the IRS or, or the state of New Jersey. Um, so I'm going to kind of walk through three of the, uh, the three types today. The refunders um, come, to, come into my office and, and they know in their mind they, uh, you know, historically have gotten refunds. And they know they they you know anticipating a refund and in their mind they already have it spent uh, someplace uh, whether it's on a family vacation or uh, someplace else. Um, what we normally do is we sit down with them, we look at what the refund is, and we make recommendations on what they should be using that refund for. Uh, you know, we generally would tell them you know if there's some credit card debt with high interest rates to pay that down, uh, maybe some water loans uh, with some high interest rates to pay that down, uh, educational loans. Uh, they may want to fund a 529 plan. Uh, they may want to use it to fund uh, their IRA contribution for the year. Um, there, is a, there is a way that you can actually uh, have that go directly from uh, the tax return um, electronically into an IRA account. Uh, so those are some of the recommendations uh, we make. If there's anything left over, uh, then they can use it for what they anticipated it for which was, you know, a family vacation. And it's a nice time of year for them. I guess they always usually get their um, refunds back in March or April. That's when the children are off from school and that's, you know, that's a perfect time for them. Uh, then we have the procrastinators, you know, the people that don't want to pay until they have to. Uh, they want the use of their money throughout the year. Uh, we have to be a little bit more careful with them because if they do have balanced dues uh, with the return, we want to make sure they don't have underpayment penalties. Uh, so we're going to kind of, you know, give them a call during the year. Uh, you know, see where they are from a business or individual standpoint, from a, a tax standpoint. Make sure they have enough, uh, you know, enough in to, to at least uh, stay out of the underpayment penalty situation. And we review that with them during the course of the year. So we kind of guide them along on that. Um, so then when they do come in and they have balance dues, they understand it. Again, they're not as nice as the, the refunders. Uh, you know, the refunders have it nice because they're getting some money back. Uh, the procrastinators know they got a balance due. So... Uh, not as nice again, but uh, they know what they are in for when they come into my office. Uh, but again, you know, if there's any balance dues with those returns, uh, we, our recommendations are, you know, get the re return filed timely. Uh, if they can't file it timely, at least get the uh, extension filed because the penalties could be somewhere on the IRS side for late filing and late payment, uh, you know, approximately 47% uh, plus interest. Uh, New Jersey also has the uh, late filing and late payment penalties. We recommend normally to pay, if you can only pay anything, uh, with the extension, pay it with Jersey uh, because they may invalidate an extension if you don't have enough paid in by April 15th. Uh, the percentage is 80% of what the actual tax due is. Uh, and their interest rates are a little bit higher. Uh, they're at prime plus three, uh, which is 6.25 versus the IRS. Interest rate is only 3%. So those are some of our recommendations on the procrastinators. And then we have the, the, the apathetics, the people that come in and really have no clue whether they have a refund or a balance due. Uh, they just know they have to file their tax return. Uh, it's nice when we finish the tax return, they actually have a refund. It makes my meeting a lot easier. Uh, but if they do have a balance due, we kind of recommend the same things that we you know, we said to the, the procrastinators. You know, let's get make sure we get the return filed on a timely basis, whether that's through filing the return or filing an extension. Uh, let's pay as much as we can on April 15th uh, so that we stop the interest from running. Um, and, that, and, and if they can't pay it and they have to pay it over time, there are options either through an installment agreement or other options uh, to pay you off the uh, balance, whether you have to borrow maybe a little bit on a home equity line, uh, which is a tax, deduct tax deductible uh, interest, uh, or if you have to borrow from family or friends for a short time period. Um, you know, those are some of the recommendations we, we tell the procrastinators and, and the people that have balance dues.